Welcome to Everything Car Fishing. I'm doing a quick overnighter on a mid-Kent venue. My first session, so hopefully I can actually catch something. Let's go. Just arrived at my new venue, um, mid-Kent Water. Uh, just having a little look around at the moment, trying to figure out where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do. I'm uh, sitting in a swim that I think I'm going to be in. I can't really see any carp or anything or anything show. This lake is not very big, the one I've picked for tonight. Yeah, I can't really see anything for show, but I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'm just going to have to just put the bait in and just see if they arrive at some point. I think that's probably going to be the way. I don't know how many carp are in here at all. All I know is there's a lots of doubles and twenties, so there could be a chance of getting a carp. My first night, let's see about that. Well, hopefully I do. Well, I've set up now. And the only reason I picked this swim is because it gives me quite a lot of water in front of me and there's not really that many swims on here to be honest. Um, there's only about five or six swims uh, so I decided to pick this one because it's the most widest part and I get to see I get to see and I also get to uh, reach the fish if I see carp jump or anything. Uh, it gives me a bit of an option for next time just in case I want to come on this lake again and I get to spot fish on a certain area um, because I can see pretty much the whole water from here so that's why I've picked here what I've done is I've actually put two rods on one spot um, I've led it around and I've actually found a nice gravel area about 13 wraps out which is brilliant uh, I could put two rods on that which is what I wanted I can actually use three rods here so what I've done on the third rod is I've actually pulled it out to the right um, there's like a snaggy tree on this this bit that sort of sticks out it's where the lake sort of splits in half uh, into two sections it's sort of like an island really I mean it's not proper island but um, I'm decided to put one on the end it's quite silty it's quite weedy around there but it's quite a nice little feature so um, you know hopefully I'll get a bite on that or I might get one on the uh, area that I found on the gravel that's the reason I've decided to fish one on a sort of silty area and one on and the other two on a gravelly area I don't know what they feed on I don't know what's the best on this lake so hopefully I'll get a carp I've decided to do varied hook baits. I've got one 
that's on a trimmed down dumbbell wafter that I've trimmed down a yellow pop-up and I've actually put it on top so it's like a little um, sighter on top and the other one I've actually just trimmed down the pop-up um, with the Ronnie rigs that I'm using um, it sort of acts like a wafter really it's not a pop-up it you're chopping it down quite a bit and it loses buoyancy they're both on lead clip setups with tubing the rules are that I can't use leaders or anything so I've decided to do that I've only got short tubing as well so it's not like I've gone crazy with it um, it is a bit annoying when you get too long a length and it just takes forever to thread it through it's not my favorite type of um, setup but the rules are rules. I was a little bit worried fishing with the clips that I was going to get tangled so what I've done is I've actually made little PVA bags up, little mesh bags um, just with some pellets in. It just helped to keep the rig out and hopefully um, I won't get any tangles. On the other rod I've actually got a naked chod rig on. I've actually put on a 15mm uh, pink pop-up on that. The spawn mix I'm using is sweet corn, hemp, chopped boilies and whole boilies. Pretty simple, pretty easy to put together. Um, and I put about seven spoms straight over on that gravel patch and I've got two rods on it and the other rod I've just put over a handful of boilies. I don't really want to go crazy with the bait, I want to keep it very simple, very light and uh, yeah, hopefully it catches me a cut. Well, nothing's happened so far, uh, apart from a duck, which dived down and managed to pick up the rig. That's about it. I haven't seen any fish, or I haven't seen a single carp, or I haven't even seen any bubbles or anything to show that there's any carp around at all at the moment. Um, yeah, I've been looking around, keep, keep my eyes on the water, see if I can see any. I've been looking around to see if I can see anything, I haven't seen anything show at all, no bubbles, no jumps, no nothing, yeah, I don't know, well I've learned a few things, um, I know that this lake hasn't done a carp since November, but it is the easier venue to pick, um, there is another lake behind me, uh, which I probably will be on next time. I just wanted to come on here and get a quick buy. There is two lakes on here, so I've got a bit of a choice. Um, I've just thought I'd come on here and get a quick buy or quick overnight and just might get a chance of getting something. I've also learned that is an island next to me. Um, I thought it wasn't. I thought it was just where it split in, into two bits, but it turns out it is an island. Apparently there is a little gap of water in between, so it does. it is an island. Which is good because uh, you know carp like to patrol around islands. Even if they can't quite get round it all the way through, they're going to patrol up and down it at some stage. Um, and the bailiff said that, yep, you can get bites off there. Um, it also said you can get bites off the gravel bar that's out there, which I found. So I've, I'm doing everything. Well, there's only a few swims on here really. So I mean. I can try this one out for now and I might come back again another time but I'm, next time I might move on to the lake behind me it's got bigger carp in it's got carp up to 35 pound this one is meant to have carp up to 30 but I think a lot of the carp are doubles apparently quite a few of them are that sort of size um, but the bigger carp are in the one behind me so I might move on to that one to next time and uh, hopefully we'll get some better weather because it's meant to be cold tonight um, and it's been cold the last couple of nights and it looks like we're in for a right old cold spell in the next couple of days. Well, next week it might be a bit more difficult to get a carp out because they're going to hit that colder weather for a little while. But this session I'll just stay on here and see if I can get a quick bite overnight. 
Um, I don't know if it's a nighttime venue or it's an early morning venue. I don't really know. Uh, we'll see. eventful night really nothing's happened uh, this morning I've been having a look around see if I can see anything and uh, I've seen a few fish sort of splashing and uh, breaking the surface I don't really know if they're carp or tench or bream or anything really I know there's a few species in this lake so uh, could be any of those at the moment uh, yeah I mean there's fish showing they could be carp and they're pretty much everywhere so there's no real Pacific area where they've been shown at the moment it's pretty early still though um, so it could be a chance of getting a bite this morning I suppose oh we just saw another fish jump I don't know what that was it looked a bit silver to me uh, that fish I don't know roach maybe <laughs> so, uh, just made myself coffee clean myself up well I'm not going to give it too long I'm probably going to give it until about 11 that's when I arrived really hopefully I can catch a carp before I have to go and uh, be nice to do that uh, especially as my first session here next time I probably will go on the other lake and uh, explore on there really that's where I really wanted to go but um, I decided to come on here just to get a bite for a quick overnighter uh, but I'll probably put all my effort in to get a really big carp out of that lake Hopefully I'll get a bite this morning, if not, well at least I tried and I've come out in uh, all sorts of weather really. Well yesterday was really sunny, today is cloudy and raining, so uh, interesting contrast of days. I don't know what's going to be better, sunny day or a miserable day. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I still think there could be a chance to get a bite this morning. I've seen a few fish showing, so hopefully I do. anything on my first session here hopefully next time I will all I caught was a duck <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to do something to try and avoid them next time thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video